Their veteran coach James Jones feels like he has a definite contender again in the Ivy League. They won the Ancient Eight last year with 10 league victories as we are underway as the tip is controlled by Yale. Yale starting five. Azar Swain is their leading scorer. He's coming off a 24-point night as Bruner gets stymied inside. Amir Sims being the exception, they don't really have a whole lot of other options in the low post to try to create offense, so they got to rely on the three-point line. Atkinson, some pretty moves down low. He is crafty, isn't he? Also has grabbed 21 rebounds. 6-10 out of West Palm Beach in the first bucket of the game for Newman the third. Look at this Yale team. They stopped all five upperclassmen, juniors and seniors. They lost three starters last year, and to be able to replace them, actually four starters last year, your top three scores, your leading rebounder, and it, they knew they were going to have some overhaul on the roster. Amir Dawes is a freshman point guard from Newark, New Jersey. And you know how difficult it is, David, to in integrate a freshman point guard as Newman takes it baseline, but... Point guard is the most important position on your team, and to have a freshman, and Alamir Dawes is a very, very good player. Like I said, he's had great moments for them this year, but he's just a freshman. Yep. And unfortunately, there's going to be some growing pains with that, but, uh, you know, he, he's just... Back to a great start offensively, but looking to create offense off of their defense here. Good steal by Curran Scott, good drop off for the easy two. Good job by Tyson to step in on the defensive end for the Tigers, and he has the ball baseline. And a tip in by Amir Sims, their leading scorer. They lead the Ivy League in shooting percentage at 47%. And a runner on the mark by Moore. Highly talented transfer from Alabama. And a step back by Newman. So Newman has six. Oh, no question. And it, like we talked about, that we know who the two leading scorers of this Clemson team are going to be between Amir Sims and Kevin Mack. Tigers 0 for 5 from 3. Nice move on the baseline. How about the up and under there by Jalen Gabadon, who has four. Point forward for James Jones. Here's Atkinson trying to back in on Sims. And well done by Paul Atkinson, the Ivy League's leading field goal shooter. How do you lose out on a kid that goes to... If you're at Clemson in the ACC, how do you not get a kid of his caliber? Well, it's not easy to recruit in the Ivy League. It's a good matchup with Sims and Atkinson. Good touch. And that's what he can do. He, he really is a skilled, skilled basketball player. You know, a lot of people watching this game might not think it, but there's definitely a lot of NBA caliber talent on this team, on this floor right now. Sims, the baseline against Atkinson. The, move. the explosive burst on the baseline. That's something maybe Yale doesn't see as often. Yeah, there's no question. And, and Welcome sign right there when you're struggling to score. Jordan Bruner, the rebound. He'll head man the break. Yeah, good luck there from Sims, though. Still got it on the block. Tough shot there by Jordan Bruner, but that's what he could do. DK at the point. Filling in for Eric Monroe. It's the screen from Bruner. Nicely good done. Good move. Good move. Us feel like this is anybody's ball game this year as Trap converts on the other end for Clemson. It always is. Best time of the year in my book. Tyson, the deep three from International Waters. So the Bulldogs remaining feisty on the defensive nice end. Wow. Bruner to Atkinson and the N1. Transferred to Alabama and was part of that coaching change, but good look there for Sims. Finally gets one to fall. I'm sure a big sigh of relief for Amir Sims right there. Neil led by five at the half. Swain. Nice baseline move. Situation like this, you know, they should have won at Penn State earlier this year. Is now ranked in the top 25. Are you kidding me? That one from the Tiger Paw. Unbelievable. <laughs> and here he comes. He scored their last foul. Swain. A lot of contact on that one. Let it, let it go. Worked out in favor. The N1, Jamil Alusa, industrious to the post. On the basket in a hurry, and we're seeing it here the last couple minutes. Eight to nothing run for Yale. And there's the three to stop the tie by Kayvon Moore. Clemson hasn't scored a field goal in the last 443. Oh, How about running the break, Jordan Bruner? Why well, shoot 68% exactly as a career shooter? Wow. How about the putback by Gabadon? 
coming in from the corner. Should have beat Penn State earlier this year. I mean, they didn't, so you can't really say anything. That's problematic. Turnover and the dunk by Tyson. And That's a great rule. You know, it's a team obviously should be rewarded for getting an offense free about the 30 seconds is just too long. What a pass by Atkinson to Bruner. Atkinson calling for it in the post. And there's a reason why he's one of the best in the nation. Layup like they can't ask for a better look from Amir Sims. Did a good job of getting him his team another possession. What a block on the weak side by Jordan Bruner. Eric Monroe calling for help. Swain for three. Atkinson, he continues his ruggedness in the post. Atkinson to Bruner. Oh, he got it. What a way to finish for Jordan Bruner from down the road. Columbia, South Carolina. Right trap, counters with the three. And they will kill the clock and end this ball game. First time they played in 18 years and a memorable outcome. Last time they played Yale won. This time, Yale with a victory.